Hey y'all, welcome back. I um am doing a DIY today. I told you some of you guys about it yesterday. If you watched my video yesterday, um, I told you I was doing it. I did about two years ago, I did some glitter, um, Dollar Tree glass, um, the clear glass glitter plates. Um, well, I'm going to be using something similar. And I do have some chargers this color already, but I was looking for the wow factor. And um, I decided, a couple people had asked, did I have any idea how to do the glitter plates with chargers? Yes, I do. And it's easy. And wait till you see it. Okay, I did one. And I'm going to show it to you in a few minutes. But um, I'm going to show you, like, how I did it. So, here it is, y'all. This is it. Easy. This is rocket science. So, be careful now. Got it. Y'all, it's so darn easy. Okay, you put down your glue. And you might need a little more than that, right? Uh, this is a simple Dollar Tree charger. Or one, you know, thrift store. I actually, th I think I got this from the thrift store. I dusted, made sure it was no dust on it. Um, I have my sponge brush. And I'm just going to make it kind of thick. You want to make this kind of thick. I'm using chunky. Now, guys, in the other video, I said, um, in the one with the glass plates, they're tr translucent. These aren't. Um, and so you might not... You, I only did one coat of uh, glitter on these. Um, so you might only need one coat. I mean, and you're not, you're not going to eat off of them. You're not going to be throwing them in water. Um, you know, you might just want to wash it off, wipe it off, you know, when you use your... Uh, so you don't have to be as cautious with these, but also I use, and I, like I say and said in the other video, I use chunky glitter. If you don't have it, any glitter is fine. What I like about chunky is that it throws off and it picks up light from everywhere. It's a, just a bigger piece of glitter that's in there. It's not mandatory. You can do this with any kind of glitter or those glass, um, crushed glass pieces. Um, you can do it with that. Um, you can do it with anything. But the glitter, when it's chunky, it just has big, giant chunks in it. And I'll show you what I mean. And it just pulls light from every angle. And that's what I like about it. It's just pretty. You can mix colors if you want to. You can do rainbow effects. There's so many ways you could do this. Okay, so you just want to kind of even this out. And not have, like, big ridges of glue, like here. See, I'm just going to try to smooth it. And... Kind of put more over here. So you just want to even coat, but you want it thick enough to be able to grab hold of that gl um, glitter. And then, and this is on the upside of the plate. The upside, the side that's going to, your plate is going to sit on. You will not be eating on these. So, you know, you do not, tr I bl trust me, I feel like I need to stress that one. Um... Yeah, so kids could do this. Anybody could do this. This video is not made for kids, by the way. However, you're more than welcome to watch with your parents. Okay. <laughs> Had felt like I needed to say that with all the stuff that's going on, right? Okay, so now I this is the glitter that I'm using. And I'll show you what else I'm using. Like I said, I use the sponge brush. I use Mod Podge. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. And this is the glitter. It's called... Um, what is this lady's name? Uh, Heidi Swap. You can get it from all, Walmart, Michaels, um, any of the craft stores. I think Joann's even sells it. Hobby Lobby sometimes has this brand. This is Marquee Love. And the color is like a pink. I think it's just something pink. But I don't, I don't think that they carry this color anymore because I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I did find it on Amazon, but it takes like two weeks to come. So where whoever has it, it takes two weeks to come. And it was $7 and some odd cents if you want this color. But they have them in all colors, a, a lot of colors at uh, Michael's. If you go in there, you could find it right in their craft section. So, I mean, not that, not that Michael's isn't all crap, mostly craft. But, um, yeah, so anyway, now, guys, look, this is what I did. Just like I did the other ones, you just want to get a nice coating. Now, oh, mind you, I got down craft paper because I'm on, sitting on the floor. Glitter is a mess. It's not your friend. I also have a piece of newspaper down, if you guys could see, because this is what I'll be picking up. The, and when I turn this upside down, the glitter will fall on it. I can pick it up and put it right back in the, um, it's easier to put it back in the uh, bottle. Because you want to, you're going to have a lot of fall off and you can pick it up with this and pour it right back into the bottle. So you're not wasting. So make sure you put down something that you can pick that glitter up easy with. 
And glitter is a hot mess to get. I see it on the floor now, like from me doing the one yesterday. And I'm going to have to go over it several times with my steamer to pick it up. Even a vacuum don't want to pick, half, pick it up half the time. So it's going to take, it seems like it's taking like a lot of your bottle, but there will be a lot of fall off. And it'll go right back in your bottle. It's not taking a lot of glitter at all, real in reality. So if you're doing four, four chargers, you might want to pick it up after about 15 minutes and do the fall off. Pick it up carefully. So that way you can keep on moving with your plates. But um, I tend to leave it for a few minutes. But I'm going to pick it up now. See, it looks like it took the whole bottle for that. I'm going to pick it up and show you guys real quick some of the um, fall off. How the fall off is going to be. Look at that. See? And this is what it's going to look like. Look at that, y'all. Is that gorgeous? Is that gorgeous? I'm going to sit this one to the side. Oh, I'll sit it right here. And then I'm going to show you how. I'm going to pick this up. And actually, I did a touch-up on this one, so I can pour that, that full up on here, too. Yeah. Okay. And then... Here's the, where I put the lid back on. Okay, I'm going to show you just how I poured that. Look at all of that glitter, right? I'll try to show you without it getting all over the place. Look at all that just there. I'm going to pour it right back in this bottle. And the key to that, you want to get it straight in a straight line and have a small spout to pour it back in there so it don't go all over the place. Oh, see, wasn't ready. And it got on the paper. Here you go. Have a small spout. Put it in there and let it run. Made a funnel. Tap it so it all goes in there. Now I'm back up with the bottle. It's about right here. So, I'm going to show you what the plates look like. And I'll show you because I'm going to do another coat of the Mod Podge on here. You see this? This is what it's going to look like after it's dry. And this is with one coat of Mod Podge. Look at that, y'all. I hope this lighting is right. Is the, are these gorgeous? I'm only doing two of these because they're going to be at my breakfast bar for the holidays. And I'm going to set up with the pink and whites and silvers over there and just leave it. Just one little section, you know, that's not interfering with everything. I'm just going to leave it over there. So, here's my, oh, and here, and then after that, I told you guys on the other plates, here's, you still want to use this because this is going to seal it. So, this is Cryline. You can use any brand, but as long as it's a clear spray, like a lacquer spray or it's gloss. I use clear, clear gloss. Okay, I'm not going to be spraying this because it's going to be wet when I finish this video. But you know what I already, you know, I'll tell you. As soon as it's over, you put two to three coats of that. Just spray 15 minutes, 20 minutes in between. Just two to three coats. So I'm going back over this with my last coat and my last little bit of a Mod Podge. I just wanted to get that part where I at least touched up. And then you really just... These coats, after the uh, Mod Podge had already, one coat of it already dried. Look, mm -mm, I'm just sitting that to get the rest of it out. Then you just want to go over it again. I did nothing to the back of the charger. You see me? I'm just putting another coat. This is a ceiling. After this, I'll put, like I said, maybe three or four coats to the back. Krylon Clear. And I have beautiful, glimmery, shiny, glamorous chargers. And I just did them on silver, stupid, Dollar Tree <laughs> style plates. I don't even, I think these came from the thrift, so I don't know where they um, originated from. But they're the Dollar Tree style. Same exact thing. But, yep, look at this. You see, I'm just going around this. This brush is, these brushes are so cheap. And I see right there where I just picked a hole right there. So, you see, watch this. I'm going to flatten this out. And I'm going to touch it. Because this little, I'm getting that um, hard part. Yeah, I just poked the hole, it looks like, right there. So, I'm just going to do that. Oh. 
and I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue and tap it in there. That's how you fix them when you're in the midst of doing it. And then here you go. It'll be done, it'll be dry, and got a nice thick coat on there. And then I'll do a coat of the Mod Podge on um, the other one. I'll do two coats. After that's dry, I'm just gonna, I don't have to do another layer of glitter. The only thing I might do is if I see something that I need to touch up, I'll touch it up real fast, put a nice two more coats of the Mod Podge, and then the spray acrylic. And then you have the most gorgeous plate, charger plate ever. And they look good if you just do salad plates and um, a deck, another bordered plate, something that, you know, in silvers or gold. I like silver with this color. And then you do the salad plates in this. Oh my God, the setup is gorgeous. I'll show you guys because that's what I'm doing on my uh, breakfast bar. When I'm ready to get it set up, I'll show you when, you know, as I'm setting it up. So see, I got a nice thick coat on there. Everything is covered. Everything is covered and this will dry clear. You see how white and gooky it is? I see one spot there I need to fill in. Yep. And it's just about a little bit of touching up right now. I'll let that dry and then I'll touch it a little more. And that's it. That's it, y'all. So, let me show you this one one more time. This is the one I just did. Look at that. Would you look at that? So, like I said, I'm only doing two. Oh, my gosh. I hope this is picking up this light. Let me move this glue. I hope it's picking up the light like I need it to. Do y'all see that? Ah. Uh, they are beautiful. But yeah, Dollar Tree Dollar Tree um um uh, plates. You can get this as low as $1.99 at Michaels in different colors, you know, when they go on sale. But on the regular, I think they're five something. And then you can spend as much as like I've seen them for nine dollars online, this brand. But um Michaels always has sales. You know, they always and you can use that coupon with Michaels. So go to Michaels, use the coupon, and um pick it up. And you can have these for the holiday. These don't take that much time to cure as much as the other ones do because you're not layering and coating so much. So give yourself at least, you know, these should be ready. If you did them today or tomorrow, they might be, more than likely will be ready by um, Thanksgiving. But yeah, look at that, y'all. Cute. Cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to um, not, probably not be back today because I got some things I'm doing around the house. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video. Ooh, I just see, picking it up. I got to touch up my edges on there. Picking it up, I just messed up the edge. You want to make sure you bring that glue all the way out to the edge. And then you want to um, make sure you get the glitter on the edge. Make sure you do that because that way, and even if at the end, guys, here's another tip. If you see glitter hanging over, you just take an emery board and kind of go around it. it. It smooths out the edges. You don't do it hard. You just kind of, you know, go like that with the emery board around it. it smooths out the edges. Even on those glass plates. I forgot to tell y'all that when I did those. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this works out. I hope you guys like it. And um, let me know. Leave me some comments. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know if you did try it. Let me know. Oh, my gosh. I swear, if this camera ain't picking this up. I'm taking it outside and redoing the video. I'm taking it out in the sun and show y'all. So, yes, it's gorgeous. Okay, I will talk to you guys, uh, like I said, probably tomorrow. Um, I'll be in the comments, though. I'm slowly getting to all the comments. I got to, I'm up to yesterday, I do believe. Okay, I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments. Please let me know if you're going to try it, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you have tried it. Um, anything. I thought, I think these are so pretty and I can't wait to show you that, uh, when I set the breakfast bar, maybe by tomorrow or the next day when these dry good, I'll set the breakfast bar up and I'll, um, uh, show y'all how I, you know, how it looks on there for, I'm going to set it up for winter. Um, you know, Christmas, the holiday season. Okay guys, I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.